Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I appreciate the uh, work that's been done by the public health community in our country to delay the arrival of the uh, uh, COVID-19 in the United States. It's really quite remarkable to me that while other countries have seen so many cases, whether it's Italy or Iran, South Korea, Japan, uh, that we've been able to delay it. Clearly, you can't keep it away forever, and, and uh, we already have the uh, community transmission, which you predicted. Um, uh, I want to turn to another issue, however, which is the, the, whether we as Congress and, and administrations, Republican and Democrat, have done enough to prepare uh, protective equipment for our medical professionals and for our public at large. And I'm not, I don't point at anybody, this isn't you, this is us responsible for funding, which is, uh, given the fact that our medical professionals need masks, gowns, gloves, and so forth, what, what percent of, of what would be needed by medical professionals if we were to have a full-blown pandemic? And I hope we don't, but if we were to have one, what percentage of what we would need for our medical professionals is in the strategic national stockpile? So I can give you a rough order of magnitude. It depends what kind of, like you said, severe pandemic, 10% of what we need. Right now, if it were to be a severe event, we would need 3.5 billion N95 respirators. Yeah. We have about 35 million. So about 10 percent. 10 percent, and, and we're working it's, actively in that. That's yes. an area where I've, I've been most concerned that it strikes me that we should have substantially more than 10 percent that what would be needed for, a, for a, a substantial pandemic. We should have that in stock. I can't believe that we, Congress, I'm not blaming the administration. This is Congress in appropriating and it's prior administrations as well. That should be in place. Do, do masks help for the general public? Let's say we have a major pandemic. Uh, and people are concerned, they're going to the grocery store, they know other people there might be infected. Do masks actually help? Do they prevent uh, or reduce the likelihood of being exposed to the disease, Dr. Fauci? It, it depends on the mask. If, if you look at the, the N95 masks, right. are much better than those sort of floppy masks. In general, right now, I mean, I think the question you're asking... No, no I'm really, really asking if we were to have yeah, a major yeah. outbreak of some kind. Yeah, the most important thing for a mask would be if someone is infected to prevent them from infecting others. Yeah. The other is the health care provider mm -hmm. to protect them. Of course. The general public who could wear them, that could certainly prevent gross droplets from going when someone sneezes and right. coughs on you. But it doesn't provide the kind of protection that people think it does. So therefore, there are some downsides because people keep fussing with the mask. It's and be it could better, better than nothing. Yeah. Do we have, do we have masks in, in our strategic national stockpile for the general public? <clears throat> we do not. Okay. Uh, turn to aircraft. If someone on an aircraft is infected and sneezes, how many people are going to be exposed to that disease? Is it just a couple of people, the people sitting next to them? Is it the whole aircraft? For this kind of virus, we're thinking just the couple rows around it. For uh, other types of infections, it might be broader. Should our flight attendants not on our instruction tell them not just to fasten their seatbelt, but that if you cough or sneeze, you should cough into fabric or into your sleeve or whatever? It's, I mean, I, I keep going in an airplane, someone coughs or sneezes, and I hear it barking out. It's like, my goodness, in a condition like this, just the general flu, given the fact we have the flu going on and colds, should we not be telling people on airplanes, you may not cough or sneeze unless you're covering your mouth? I think I know the answer to that. Um, <laughs> Uh, and let, let me ask this another question, which is, uh, let's say we do get a, a vaccine, it tests positively and, and so forth, and, and goes through phase one and phase two clinical trials. Uh, what does it take to get a major production done? How long does it take to actually kick the, the production up? And, and how long does that take? And, and who does that? Who's doing the manufacture once we know this is a vaccine that works? That's a very good question, Senator. And that was really one of the things that was discussed yesterday when the president and the vice president brought in the CEOs of a number of companies. And that's really important because what I was talking about a year to a year and a half, if you don't have the production capacity to make tens and tens of millions of doses, it may take even longer. And the ones who can do that essentially are the pharmaceutical companies. The federal government is not gonna be able to make hundreds of millions of doses. It's gonna to have to be partnership with the private sector. Uh, do we have that capacity in the so United we, States? So do we, we, do we, is this capacity no. outside the U.S.? And I guess the question I'm looking for is whether legislatively or from an appropriation standpoint, we should provide funding to have the capacity to, to make large numbers of, of, of vaccines. We should have that capacity in the U.S. and have it ready at the go in case 
if this isn't the pandemic that we're worried about, if another one comes down the road, is, is this something we should actually have ready to go? Yes, sir. And in fact, uh, right now, the only capacity we have is really egg production, which wouldn't be relevant to the vaccine candidate or the candidates that we at BARDA are pursuing. So we'd have a, a longer than a six month wait to basically produce uh, vaccines on scale. Yeah, okay. I, I, I think I wanna underscore that that is an area we ought to consider making an investment in. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Romney. Senator